Welcome back to First Issues. The only topic constantly on our lips now for just over a year has been COVID-19, a virus that almost single-handedly collapsed the global economy. For the first time in a hundred years, the whole world was brought to a standstill by this deadly virus. To date, almost 2 million people have died from this virus, causing massive skilled manpower losses across various industries in many parts of the world. While many have sadly lost their lives, a lot more have recovered from this highly infectious disease. The question on a lot of people's minds now is, what happens after recovery? Is the virus completely gone? Can the recovered person not pass on the virus to others any longer? Our resident physician, Dr. Kiran Bhagat, explains. As part of our Corona Chronicles, we talk today about what happens after somebody has been attacked and infected by COVID and responds and recovers. There are two scenarios, one in which the recovery is complete and the other is in which after the COVID called post COVID, certain symptoms seem to linger. In these patients, the firemen and the, brig and the brigade and the artillery that responded to the coronavirus still lingers in the circulation and it seems produces a number of effects immediately and sometimes long-term thereafter called the long COVID syndrome. Symptoms such as fatigue, headaches, dizziness, muscle aches, and in some rare cases, continuing inflammation of the joints and in rare cases, inflammation of the vascular circulation resulting in conditions such as heart failure, stroke, and other vascular problems such as clotting in the circulation. These are only just being researched and discovered and long COVID clinics in the United States and North America and Britain are now being set up to monitor and manage some of these symptoms. The discovery that it may linger for up to 12 months is surprising and sometimes alarming, but it is important to know that once you have recovered from COVID and the acute infections, some of the symptoms may linger and you need to report back to your general practitioner or specialist about some of the symptoms that you may have that need further investigation. In Africa, help is what we do. That is why we at FNB are relentlessly driven to provide real help to you, the passionate and courageous, the creators and the optimists. These are the entrepreneurs we support, the communities we uplift. It is because of you that real help is what we do. FNB, how can we help you? This program was brought to you in association with First National Bank of Botswana. FNB, how can we help you?